The Officia DFM100 can provide non-invasive transcutaneous pacing therapy to adult, child, or infant patients and deliver paced pulses in either demand or fixed mode. Fixed mode pacing delivers asynchronous paced pulses at the selected pacer rate and is typically used if R wave detection is unreliable or when monitoring electrodes are not available. In demand mode, the pacer only delivers synchronous paced pulses when the patient's heart rate is lower than the selected pacing rate. In this program, we'll demonstrate pacing using this preferred pacer mode. Pacing requires the use of the multifunction pads to deliver the paced pulses. During demand mode pacing, the multifunction electrode pads cannot be used for ECG monitoring. You must monitor the patient through three or five lead monitoring electrodes. Assuming the ECG and therapy cables are connected to the DFM100 and monitoring electrodes and multifunction electrode pads applied to the patient's bare chest, turn the therapy knob to the pacer position. This message indicates that the pacing function is enabled, but paced pulses are not being delivered. Press the Lead Select button to select the best lead with an easily detectable R-Wave. And verify that a single white R-Wave marker arrow appears above or on each R-Wave in Wave Sector 1. If the R-Wave markers do not appear, are incorrectly labeling beats, or do not coincide with the R-Wave, select another lead. Press the Pacer Setting Soft key to bring up the Pacer Rate window. Use the Smart Select knob to adjust the rate and then press the knob to select the rate. Repeat these steps to adjust the pacer output, if needed. Press the Start Pacing soft key and the message Pacing appears. Confirm that the white pacing markers appear on the ECG waveform. Press the Pacer Settings soft key. Use the Smart Select knob to increase the output until mechanical capture occurs by assessing for a peripheral pulse. Increase the output 5 to 10 milliamps above the level that capture was obtained. To stop delivery of pace pulses, press the Pause Pacing Soft key. A prompt message asks you to confirm your action. Using the Smart Select knob, select Yes to pause pacing. Press the Start Pacing Soft key to resume pacing or move the therapy knob away from the pacer position. Should defibrillation become necessary during pacing, Turn the therapy knob to the appropriate energy or AED mode. When you're ready to resume pacing, turn the therapy knob back to pacer. Press Start Pacing and the device resumes pacing using the previously selected mode, rate, and output settings. Be sure to confirm that mechanical capture has been maintained by checking for a peripheral pulse. When pacing is no longer needed, Turn the therapy knob from pacer to monitor. This completes our program on the Officia DFM100. We've covered an overview of the device's features and controls, explained how to monitor ECG, SpO2, NBP, and ETCO2, manage alarms, and display trending data, and demonstrated AED and manual defibrillation, sync cardio version, and pacing therapy. Please remember that prior to using the DFM100 and for additional information, you should read the instructions for use and review the other training materials. These materials not only include details about monitoring and defibrillation functionality and operation we covered in this video, but also information about device configuration, care, and troubleshooting, as well as data management.